Hello everybody, this is Robbie Skykiller coming at you from high up here in the Sierra Nevadas showing a bunch of footage of parabolic dishes, lenses, blue beam drones hiding behind the lenses, uh, cloaked crafts, cloud ships, and crazy crafts, and demon clouds. Here's one of them. Here's Satan himself just making an appearance, letting me know that everything in the skies now is demonic and inverted. Everything up there now is holographic and fake. And here's a parabolic dish, which they use to project holographic images onto. So that, you know, when we see things, they project off of this. And so, you know, everything we're seeing up there is now fake. And here's uh, the lens. These are big giant lenses up there. And right behind this lens here, right on the edge, when I get really close to it, um, there'll be a rainbow and I'm getting like a little peekaboo behind these lenses and you can see all these blue beam drones. Now these drones do not move and they look like cameras. So I'm believing they're projectors and uh, projecting onto the parabolic dishes like Nibiru and all of those things. They're not planets, they're fake and they're projections. We live on a flat domed earth made by God and Satan is trying to fool everybody as he always does so just to let you know that these blue beam drones here which hide behind the lenses and do not move I think they shoot the images onto the parabolic dishes and then they chemtrail to hide everything they also chemtrail Nibiru and all those things to fake people out thinking they're real you know and you know that's the total Hegelian dialectic they own all the things but there's the drones uh, like reflection on the sun rays pretty amazing stuff right there but yeah i mean let's just get this straight the freemasons the jesuits skull and bones all these demonic people they uh they own every uh the left the right the middle and everything in there so they create the dialogue and everything for us to follow so Nibiru, like I said, and all those things are just completely fake. They're holograms. So people need to stop worrying about being hit by dirt balls. There are no dirt balls. We live on a flat earth. There's one of those white speedy crafts next to the blue beam drones that project onto the parabolic dishes. And none of these things are really that high up there. So, you know, oh, there's one of the amazing cloaked crafts. But, you know, the, these they'll be using for their fake alien deception. They'll be speeding in and out of Sky Dome Atlantis. And uh, there's another one. So when they pull the fake alien invasion, they have all of this stuff. And they'll be using it to scare the masses into submission. There's a cloaked cloud ship. And it's an amazing shot. But, yeah, we're going to be getting into the parabolic dishes. I... So right here, you can see the sun simulator. You can see the parabolic dish to the top right. And there's another like lens right in there. There is the parabolic dish behind clouds, folks. That is not a lens flare. It is a object behind the clouds. So, and I have a video in here that I'm going to show for 45 seconds where you can see the clouds going over it. So that red thing right there is a lens flare. But underneath that lens flare is a... Uh, parabolic dish and to the left there you can see like some rainbow type of parabolic dish to the left bottom and that thing is nuts I've just recently started to catch that but and up here you can see the parabolic dish to the left with all the chemtrails but to the right there is also some weird parabolic dish hologram thing and uh yeah there's the parabolic dish with the chemtrail going over it but yeah i mean I'll, and there's the lens in there i catch these lenses i you know I, it's hard for me to i've never got the entire lens with my p900 just portions of it here's a bunch of lenses you can see those are not lens flares folks i mean i'm just not hearing lens flares here i'll show you a lens flare but there's a parabolic dish and they use those blue beam drones to project images on there, like whatever they want. Well, right now, they seem to be wanting to fake planets, inbound planets and asteroids and everything else. But it's not real. And then they 
fake hide it and they turn off FAA weather cameras to really get people to believe, oh my God, there's incoming planets and they're hiding them from us. But they're only hiding their lie that is being used to create the idea that there's planets up there and that they're trying to hide them from us. There is no planets. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in this video, but probably plenty. But there's the parabolic dish again behind clouds. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so, you know, they have a space fence which controls all of our weather along with harp. And, you know, they have all those crafts. There's Sky Dome Atlantis up there. I mean, if you look in all my pictures here that I'm sharing with you, you will see structures. I just didn't have the time here to go through and circle everything. It would take hours. I, I will do a structure video. I will do demon cloud videos. But right now, I'm just showing you. So, so there is, there's some lens flares, but right there by the tree, that's another parabolic dish. Um, and it's a really bizarre one. I mean... Some of these things are new to me. There's my dog, Riley. He's a sky killer, too. You know, he's laughing right now at Satan and all his evilness. But I just thought I'd share that with you. We'll get back into some parabolic dishes. There is one. So there, I have caught white ones, green ones, blue ones, and uh, did I say green? I'm not sure. But green, blue, white and there's some like weird purplish ones too but anyways here's all the lies in the skies above our heads nowadays i mean with all the you know cern and all the stuff they're dripping into our universe there's a parabolic dish right there by the sun simulator with clouds going over it and actually in the top right you can see a perfectly faced demon looking down at me and also up in the top right under those clouds is another parabolic dish, which you'll see in the video uh, that I'm going to play here at the end. Right now, I'm just going through a bunch of stills. I have millions of these photos, and uh, I'll be, you know, sharing them with you often. But tonight, I just thought I'd let everybody know that, you know, they're just playing games up there. Nothing is real above our heads. The weather isn't real. Nothing is real. Satan has inverted God's world into his technocracy-based, uh, you know, inverted universe of fakeness, you know. And they, uh, they're they going to try to pull the fake alien deception, and I'm not sure if they're going to first try to scare people with Nibiru or say that the aliens are coming with these holograms. But... Nibiru is fake, folks. Just get over the balls. If they were really as close as we see on the FAA weather cameras, we'd all already been long since dead. So there is a, and that lens flare is a parabolic disc. Down to the bottom left is like a holographic screen, you can see. And that is all chemtrails there. And <clears throat> tons of demons, crafts, structures, all kinds of stuff in these photos, folks. You know, feel free to leave comments of all the crazy stuff you see. Behind this is a parabolic dish. I mean, I'm just showing you a bunch of stuff. I mean, this video is 18 minutes long of just amazing footage that I saw, thought I'd share tonight. But, yeah, I mean, I don't even really know how to get into it. The Freemasons are amazing at their game. Obviously, you know, Satan is the inventor of the lie and he has pulled off the most amazing masterpiece of deception i've ever seen i mean we're born into mind control instantly with the ball and everything else and uh, you know we just go through life not questioning anything however in the bible it says in 240 places that we live on a flat domed stationary earth and you know there is no curvature at all and you know space is fake i mean werner von braun on his gravestone put psalms 19 1 which says the heavens declare the glory of god the firmament show us his handiwork so why would a freemason evil nazi leave that on his gravestone if he believed in it he, they leave cryptic messages for us you know and 
this is what they do with all our NASA money is they're building Sky Dome Atlantis. They have the space fence, 5G with all the chemtrails, Morgellons and everything that we all have now. You know, once 5G goes live, the demonic, you know, grossness that is dripping into our world via CERN, you know, into our clouds, into our water, into everything is uh, is just going to have more access to us, you know, because we have all this stuff like Rain has said, you know, we have all this stuff in us and they've, you know, altered our DNA. Oh, look at that one. That's that weird thing to the bottom left. I love that thing. I, I captured that, you know, randomly. But, you know, and Boogeyman, he just explosively shreds like the universe is being real i mean his footage is amazing and then you know you got demon hunter who just has you know exposed sky dome atlantis all their stuff i mean boogeyman and his frequency which ties into the space fence with like you can make your own lightning and stuff now which is uh, uh, just absurd but yeah these parabolic dishes are a weapon that they're using against us to fake everything in the sky so like the the tesla launch last night if you look at the footage of the tesla launch you can actually see parabolic dishes in that explosion which is actually a hologram and then they probably use the space fence activated by activated by frequency to create the explosions and everything else because that thing was as fake as it gets and uh you know, they just keep pumping this stuff and just keep trying to keep the masses asleep. I'll tell you, the flat earth movement is moving so rapidly that, you know, they're going to have to pull their fake alien deception soon. I'm sure they have algorithms and they have a number of when they have to pull it as people wake up. I mean, they can't allow people to enough people to wake up because, you know, 10% turns into 20% rapidly. So that they know this. They know the compounding effect of if 2% know, then 4% will know pretty soon, and then 8, and then 16. And so, you know, they're they're paying attention. And, you know, this, this whole fake news that Trump says, really, he works for Satan, and he's saying, kill the truth. So fake news and the Bill Hicks, Alex Jones psyop is... Like, a, they're playing out, kill fake news, right? But really what they're saying is kill the truth. So people that believe Trump is actually good must be thoroughly insane because that guy is straight up uh, Jesuit. I mean, he went to a Jesuit college. If you look at his apartment complex, he's got all kinds of sun worship and Diana worship, just all kind. I mean, his house is just grotesque in you know witchcraft and all that or you know all of the mysticism and all these other gods and stuff so you know but the, the these are just all kinds of the parabolic dishes and you know the lenses the crafts all these things they're going to use and they're using now and they're slow drip feeding you you know like ufos they'll let themselves be seen so people go oh my god there's ufos and oh look there's a nibiru shot on an faa weather camera and then oh look they're chemtrailing it. oh they shut down the faa weather cameras oh my god everybody better prepare for these incoming planets that are holograms we'd all be dead so you can see the clouds in this one going over multiple parabolic dishes and uh yeah, I mean, it's just absurd. If that was a lens flare, it wouldn't be covered by a cloud. Now, that big halo around the sun is like a lens flare, but there, there is actually a giant lens right there as well. And this is a parabolic dish, just at a different angle, I believe, anyways. Maybe Boogeyman can break off some information on that particular unit. It, I always see it. Oh, yeah, there's some more parabolic dishes behind the chemtrails, you know. It's just the footage I'm catching, and it's being put in front of my camera by God. So here's a great one. There's a lens flare on top of a parabolic dish, a lens flare on top of a parabolic dish. So right there, there's two parabolic dishes and two lens flares. Now, the clouds, like I have shown, go over these things, and you don't see them. And 
It's just absurd. And we do know the Sun Simulator is not very far up. I have posted a video that I recorded of uh, the Sun Simulator exploding when a chem plane came right by it. Now, I'm not sure the chemicals are explosive. I actually believe the Sun Simulator is so hot that when they're spraying the chems out and it goes by the Sun Simulator, it's just like the a tin foil, like a, a metal hood. When you spray it, if it's really hot, it'll pop. And that's what I believed it was. But yeah, that was amazing. So we know that these things are all close. These are not up even that high. They need these things close to be near the clouds to project images. And this isn't even, you can see that I'm not even zoomed in on anything. There's the tree. I'm not zooming. These things are not that far out, folks. So, you know, it's just crazy what's going on in this world. The only truth is found in movies and cartoons and, and uh, you know, music and all that stuff. The Tavistock group, you know, they've written everybody's music. All, you know, they, they own the narrative right from the get-go. And, you know, they changed all our music from 432 hertz. In 1931, England made the symphony start playing in 440. By 1951, they made it a law that all music would be recorded in 440 hertz. Well, if you divide 12 into 440, it's 366666666. Whereas if you divide 12 into 432, it's an even 36, 369, you know, the Fibonacci code. But he wants to invert everything. So frequency, as we know, can change our bodies. So when we're listening to music, you know, they know these things. So that's why they change it to 440 hertz. These people are not stupid, and they know how to mind control us. I mean, anybody who's awake did not, like know this stuff they came to realize this stuff however they however you have i came to figure all this stuff uh stuff out through the flat earth and when you research flat earth i mean it just goes so deep it's crazy you know dinosaurs are fake just space is fake evolution's fake i mean that that science is all bogus science you know there's still real science like you know botany you know anatomy you know earth science like dirt science and all you know just engineering all of that stuff however engineers and surveyors worldwide say that they don't ever take into account curvature because it doesn't exist so hmm i don't know what to say about that i mean i i've already proven the flat earth for myself a zillion times over i mean I, don't, I could give you 500 proofs, 1,000 proofs, you know, not just 200 like the video that turned me onto the flat earth and made me really start going after it. But yeah, Demon Hunter with his Sky Dome Atlantis and Raina with her information about what's happening to our DNA and all the stuff inside of us and Boogeyman exposing all of these insane parabolic dishes and holographic planets and just everything it's just amazing what's what we're all discovering together and um you know here's one of the cloaked crafts it's not a very good one but i i probably should have deleted this one but it's still pretty cool anyways you can see like holograms in this one to the top left and bottom left but yeah the the demons in these clouds the the Black goo they're dumping in the chemtrails and CERN, you know, dripping out all the demonic forces. I mean, they've already merged Dimension 1 and 2. The Mandela effect, I believe, is like Tesla said, Dimension 2 is so close to Dimension 1, it would be hardly noticeable by the masses. But he said Dimension 3 and 4 were Satan's dimensions. And, I mean, we're obviously deep into this scenario but you know the mandela is only changing the bible and biblical books it's not changing any other book only the bible you know here's one of these hideous demons i see all the time in the sky and uh you know they're just they're just daily hanging out you know it's just insane here's a guy spearing me it's just it's i mean you don't even need to like have an imagination to see this this is ridiculous this is obviously demons in our clouds. Here's like a weird goat guy with his dog. Like his dog's down there. I don't know if you can see it, but his dog's blue with fangs. And all this stuff is crazy. And here's a video of a 
of the clouds moving over a parabolic dish here. I can't really see it right here, folks, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna, it, it shows the clouds moving over a parabolic dish down there by the sun simulator. Up to the top right, you can see a lens flare with the blue parabolic dish under it. But down there by the sun simulator, you can see the cloud going over the parabolic dish, man. Those, those are not lens flares, folks. Look, the cloud is covering it up. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I just want to tell anybody out there who believes in Nibiru and any of that, you know, it's all fake. So here's a banana for you, you ballers. Just uh, grab on and go ride through fake space.